hi guys welcome back to my channel Eid mubarak to you all i am at anura with my brothers <laughs> osman at the back eating so um we couldn't get eat prayers because like everywhere let me show you guys literally like see it's congested we've been standing here for like the past 30 minutes i think and we missed eat prayers so i am doing um a contract with um gino foods and i have like eat packages like all over my car to like deliver to deliver to like share to people let me show you like what it looks like so see it's like an eat pack with food inside i'm um, to share to people like after eat prayers but i cannot even get through the mosque like it's literally congested out here it's so chaotic that i don't even know what i'm going to do honestly like and it's currently 9 a.m all the like other options i have like other mosques um they start prayer at 9 or 9 30 and before like i pass through this it's already past that time so fingers crossed hopefully i pass soon and like this work out anyways i'll see you guys when i see hi everyone <laughs> Eid Mubarak. i know i look sort of like i need to find a better angle and talk to you guys i've cleaned my makeup and i'm dressed while going to my in-laws place and i look so basic and casual but like this is what i'm wearing look at let me show, look at the condition of my room like <laughs> my legs look clothes everywhere literally so i need to like pick up my charger you guys i'm i'm going to i promise i'm going to fix my weird camera angles i need to pick up my ipad charger where is it because i need to make some edition in addition i need to make some editing that i need to i need to deliver to them today it's eight day and they like they want it today so i need to carry all my gadgets i need my mic because i need I'm going to do a voiceover oh my god i cannot walk under pressure but you guys like ah let me show you Maybe we can learn I'm going to log in now. I'm going to log in now. I'm going to log in now. Eat more barrack, guys. Take it, uh, Mama. Bunny ball there. Oh, yeah, the bunny ball there. Mama, Mama, and Kitana, Sama. Gashito. Mama, Mama, and Kitana, Sama. Would you summon Mama Tana, Sama? Mama, Kulu. Tobacco, when you go low? Under the gay, I catch a hunger. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Da. hi guys welcome back to my channel sorry let me talk so it's saturday fourth day of the land it's currently 2 29 anyways so guys guess what guess what we're filming on yes it's my camera i'm so so happy um my husband fixed my camera yesterday so i was watching some youtube videos on how to fix it and then like he was like bring it like i can do it i was like no like there's no way i even took it to bannex to get it fixed i'll just get another one you can't do it and i'm like trust me i can do it dude literally fixed this camera like he did it and it's not working do it like the lens has an issue like going back but it's like it works perfectly fine i can manage i mean like ah i'm so 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 happy anyways i am dressed i am going out my sister-in-law called me this morning that she's taking they are taking their kids out for for 
to to a pack this new pack i think it's um fun but something 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 i cannot remember it's a water pack i think so whether i was going to go i told me i'll tag along so i am wearing this the new dress i got during ramadan but well, you guys i feel like this is so shouty this build the choice of bill i think i should like change it because i'll be the center of attention there i mean like see can you guys see like it's so shouty i don't know maybe i'll just do like all black but black i'll pop out more anyways i don't know like when i finalize what i'm wearing i like let you know i'm sure you guys so i finished cooking lunch for my husband and everything but should i eat i'm a bit hungry or should i just punch and like grab shower mat and then just go it's too hot guys there's no light and our embata is dead so yeah i don't know anyways update i'm so excited and you guys are going to get serious inshallah i'm going to like stop vlogging like every like every every day inshallah <laughs> i'm super super excited like he literally fixed this thing even like like the people that fix his cameras like they said they cannot fix it they have to order a new lens blah blah blah, blah and whatnot i know you know i told you guys dude literally fixed it like i am so happy <laughs> anyways yeah i'm wearing contact lenses so i don't wear glasses because like i want to see how the world is like normally today because my glasses makes me see the world warm like with green on the tomb so that's how i see the world with my glasses but with this like it's clear and bright anyways guys enough of the rant i'm just super happy and let me like just go i'll see you guys whenever i see you when I finalize what I'm wearing to complete the look and what's on. So I've changed my veil to a black veil and I'm wearing this shoe from Zara. Let me show you guys. Can you guys see? Look. Okay, so it's from Zara. This is what I'm wearing black, but I'm not sure the color. And it has silver. And here is silver. But I'm not sure the color of um, this thing I'm wearing. The color of bag. I don't have a bag that's this shape and I don't have a silver bag and I don't have a plain black bag I'm wearing this bag it's, it has a you all know this bag it has a gold and silver strap and I wear it like literally every day and it's, I feel like this is the perfect bag for this outing because I realize I have a black bag, plain black bag but it's um, it's big not really big big you know the bag it's time i'll do bag but it's a bit big so yeah we need this scent for today is this why should go i'll be in this this Insane. you guys for some weird reasons i feel like i look like lovelina let me show you because this is how she dresses sometimes like the dresses she wore like she normally wears like they'll be like a little big and puffy on top especially when she was pregnant and i like tie it a bit here and then like down i don't know i feel like i just look like lovelina Anyways, guys, that's it. Let's go. We have guests downstairs, and like, it's be so awkward and weird to like just go. guys so i'm in the car i just got here my sister-in-law hasn't got here but this place looks like it's in the desert like it's 
in some abandoned place i was like is this a place anyways i'm in the car and like let me show you this it's okay so that is the place can you guys you see like look at how the place looks like anyways that's the place it's the um abuja recreational park i think yeah so i'm in the car i'm just going to make some calls because before she gets here i need to like fix my camera settings because oh my call is smudged okay as i was saying i need to fix my camera settings because it's, it's kind of looking weird and yeah anyways that's it i brought an apple and yeah that's that's You guys where i parked i'm not sure i'm supposed to park here and i do i have a problem with parking honestly i don't know how to park guys i don't have anything to tell you honestly so i'll just see you when i see you but i just want to keep on talking and talking and talking to you let me just call my sister Hi guys, so I'm all dressed. I uh, this is the time. Currently 119. I am going downstairs. I have like we need to get back into our routine. So we need to like the arrange stuff, you know, like just do the needful. I need to show my maid sometimes. But guys, like I sent the reason why I sent my old maid away because I caught her stealing from me. And I just caught this and I replaced that one with this one and this one knew why i replaced that one and i just caught this one stealing from me so at this point i don't even know what to do um i don't even know whether to get mad honestly and i cannot send her away because the one that's co probably coming again you know, might be worse than her so i don't even know honestly i i scolded her through. i feel like i need to do more honestly oh let's just go downstairs and sort it out <sighs> my husband is still sleeping i need coffee first because i need some energy to do work to do stuff and i need to cook lunch but i don't even know what i'm going to make for lunch let's just go i'll just make something like simple so i went downstairs and i decided to make myself a cup of coffee because i need that energy and strength to get back into my post ramadan routine also i decided to burn some bokor to set the room and a cozy ambience like for the place to smell really nice so i can get to work and like walk in peace so after that i decided decluttering the dining area it truly was very chaotic and very dusty and some things has expired so i had to like wipe it off and then take out the expired things and then rearrange as i was doing all of that i was on call with my sister i have to say the acts of decluttering felt like a cleansing ritual purging not just the physical space but also the mental clutter that I had accumulated with every item i rearranged on every surface i polished a sense of order and peace settled over the room And I also did the other parts of the trolley. I took out everything and I gave the place a good wipe and put everything back to its place. I 
also did the other part so at this point i was honestly a bit tired but i decided to just do it and get over with it like everything so i just took out everything give it a good wipe like the other sides and just put everything back and yeah that was it So as Ramadan has ended, it's time I take out all the Ramadan decors and put them back where they belong. So as I carefully packed away the remnants of the holy months, a bittersweet pang of nostalgia tugged at my heart, a poignant reminder of the fleeting nature of time and the precious moments that slip through our fingers like the grains of sand, the passage of Ramadan swift and ephemeral left me yearning for its spiritual embrace, its sense of humanity and its profound lessons. Yet, as I stored away the decorations, I whispered a silent prayer for the future, a hopeful plea for the blessings of the next Ramadan to grace our lives once more. Allahumma baligna Ramadan, a heartfelt invocation for divine mercy and guidance, a reminder that the journey of faith is a continuous one marked by the moments of reflection, renewal and gratitude. Also, as I am putting everything away, I decided to open my heart to the possibilities of the future, to the promise of growth, and to the enduring light of faith that illuminates our path. Ramadan may have ended, but its spirit lingers on, a beacon of hope and a source of strength for the days ahead. As the world outside stirred to life, I carried with me the memories of Ramadan, the lessons learned, and the prayers whispered. So guys, I'm in the car and I'm heading out. I don't know, I couldn't match the normal cap I wear. But I do wear so this sometimes, so I just decided to put this on. And I have my jacket here because it's too hot. So yeah, and I grab a malt. So I'm going to have that. I'm waiting for my gate man to come and open the gate. And yeah, so I'll just start driving. It's currently nine something. I managed to get hold of like two house help agencies. So whoever like brings me another one first and i called the one that brought this one for me so yeah that's the update she said she'll like try and come later today with somebody or she'll like come tomorrow so anyways like i'm waiting for that but before my husband comes let's open my mouth and i think i'm getting my tripod today Guys, I know like this is not the best breakfast to have, but I had an apple and yeah, okay, he's here. I'll see you guys.